Regidor under Jap bombardment, May 1942. Captured Jap films just released by the U.S. War Department show Old Glory Hall down. In its place, the banner of barbarism. A black day branded on the memory of America. Start of the terrible march to captivity, 11,000 heroic Yanks and Filipinos overpowered after four months of siege. In their names, the U.S. vowed vengeance. Now, nearly three years later, Corregidor's our goal, as MacArthur's men take over in the Philippines. The rock that guards the entrance to Manila Harbor becomes the target for American planes. A polywog-shaped island with top side, a high plateau at the head, and breakaway point the tail. American airmen unload what they call rock crushers. Revenge is in the air, and revenge is sweet. Guns of the Seventh Fleet join the chorus. Never did American gunners do their job more thoroughly. Transports at Amindoro Island Air Base take aboard a load of the Army's fightingest, troops of the 503rd Parachute Infantry Regiment. Men who smile as they undertake one of the war's most hazardous missions. Corregidor bound. Several asked this assignment to avenge brothers and buddies. Bombardment of the rock stops. Each transport cruises over several times because topside the drop zone is only one half square mile, a mighty dangerous landing spot. The invasion attack on Corregidor comes literally out of the blue. It takes iron nerves just to make this jump, let alone fight when you get there. One of the first to land is Signal Corps Private Getzheimer, who filmed many of these scenes. If they miss, it's the rocky shores or the bay. Even on the fairly level terrain that was once an American parade ground, it's no bed of roses. Plateau covered with chutes. For two hours they bail out to form ten-man combat teams for the cleanup. Jap gun positions there to take are spotted by rocket firing planes. Now invasion from the sea. The Japs caught in the old American squeeze play. Men of the 34th Infantry Regiment storm ashore at San Jose Beach. Veterans of many amphibious landings, they've helped make them an American specialty. Now they're driving for junction with the paratroops. The old story with variations, blasting the Japs from caves, jungle and pillboxes. Corregidor took the Japs four months to conquer. It falls to the Yanks in just 12 days. America echoes the words of General MacArthur. Hoist the colors and let no enemy ever haul them down.